All right, guys, Boy 32 here. Check it out. So we're moving on forward with the Everyday Joe build. I think we finished up with part three, and I was thinking that that was going to be it, and then we were going to put the thing together and just go over the whole rifle as a whole just so I could show it off to you guys. I, as far as I know, YouTube doesn't mind if you show off your firearms and show how awesome they are at the range, but what they don't want you to do is show how to assemble a firearm. So we're not going to do that in this video series, but down the road. I'm going to try to figure out how we can do that on our uh, website, kb32tech.com. So anyway, uh, originally I was not going to do a video review on this from here, but one of the viewers, I made a mistake of saying that these hammer and the trigger were made of nickel boron. Well, shoot, man, look at it. They sure as heck look like that to me, but he made, he corrected me saying that those were stainless steel. So I thought it would be helpful everyone to show what this lower parts kit was made of. Now, I use lower parts kits from all over the place. A lot of the ones I like is Strike Industry. The low parts kits for those things uh, are awesome for the money. I think this guy right here I picked up for like $36, $37, something like that. Uh, again, I buy all my individual parts from Big Daddy Unlimited. One of the things I always, always do, though, if I'm going to build an upper receiver system, I will typically buy that from PSA because they pretty much have the best deals out there, especially if you're talking about the FN barrel ones or with the Geisley stuff, which would, you know what, we might have one of those coming up here in the near future. But in any case, let's get on with this thing. Let's talk about this. Anderson Manufacturing. The, uh, what do they call it? The Poverty Pony. That's too funny. Uh, right there in Kentucky. Uh, with over 50 years of machining experience, Anderson Machining Manufacturing provides quality American-made parts, competitive price. Our manufacturing facility located in Hebron, Kentucky, USA. Anderson Manufacturing also provides the world's only no-lube rifles, RFA-85. Okay, I don't know if I dig that or not. So let's take a look at this thing. Uh, the purpose of the Everyday Joe rifle was to build something that, one, was a performer, reliable, and look good. Ergonomics are big. I mean, slim line handguard. Uh, you're going to see in an upcoming video here in the near future, we're going to go with a big old quad rail on one of these things. But in any case, uh, reliable, easy to put together, that kind of thing. So what does this guy come with? We've got an A2 grip. Uh, typically, well, actually on this particular build, hold on. I have a Magpul grip from a previous build, so we're going to use that one. A2 grips, I love them. I keep them around for even more economical builds. Let's see. We're going to use that one. What else do we have? We have the hammer, hammer spring, trigger spring, all the cool stuff put together to disconnect. We've got a bolt release or uh, bolt catch. Now, i tell you what, man. Uh, one of the things, look at that. That's impressive, guys. It really is. Now, I want to do something real quick. I want to go back and look at the specifications on this because I'm not sure. But I will tell you this. If you look at the finish of that trigger system, one of the first things I do is I check to see what that area right there is like. Same thing on this area right here because that's where the trigger Actually, those two points are what creates that catch. And if you've got a trigger system that can bring that release and it's a smooth trigger system, I don't care if it's five pounds, but what I do care about is if it is smooth. And I will tell you this. You can say, uh, that looks like the MIM molded, ejected, molded. I don't know if those are stainless steel or not. Let me go back and take a look real quickly at the specs on this thing before I speak out of turn but what we got here also let's see we got some takedown pins we've got our safety selector switch uh, one of the cool things i do like is the fact that they use the brass detent pins right here let's see what else that's it uh is this going to be yes an allen wrench set on the grip screw that's important to me very cool you can tell these are mim parts but let me run back and look at my specs because I'm going to tell you something. If that's stainless steel, it looks good. Very nicely done. But I do like the fact that this is nice and it is smooth. I've had these come out before. They are just nasty. Let me get back to you in a second. Here we go. 
All right, so what I did was I went back and looked at the order, and yes, indeed, this is supposed to be stainless steel. But what I found out in looking at it, and I don't know why I didn't pick this up originally, but what I saw was this is the Anderson uh, hammer. This is the more of a traditional, well, mill spec style hammer, except this is nickel boron coated. But if you could take a look at that, and one of the things that I did notice is there is a huge weight differential between the two. And I wanted to point that out because, hey man, that actually does make this video worthwhile. So let's do this. This is a traditional hammer and it weighs 1.1 ounce and then this guy's 0.8 ounces. So this is like a lightweight hammer. Also, look on the back of this. Now I've actually looked it up. They're out of stock and they're out of stock everywhere. I don't know if this is something that Anderson was trying to put out for a short period of time, but you can also see it's somewhat cut out. You've got these uh, cuts in it. Let's take a look also in comparison with a regular hammer and then the Anderson hammer. Now I did weigh these and they are exactly the same weight, but you can see the lightning cuts here. There's a cut in the hammer. I mean the trigger back there. Same thing here. I will tell you this, that's a pretty clean trigger and a pretty clean hammer as far as I'm concerned. Uh, I know I paid less than $50 for this lower parts kit. Guys, I actually bought this stuff I would say three months ago, maybe four months ago. Just haven't had a time to put this thing together, but I'm really looking forward to it over the next couple of weeks, getting this thing going. Hopefully get it out to the range here very soon with what's going on lately. It's kind of crazy. But in any case, I thought it would be interesting to show you what the Anderson Lower Parts Kit looks like in that box because that was a different package than I've ever seen before. Most of the time you get the stuff, it's in bags, but this is pretty cool. Uh, I don't know who has these in stock right now. I know Big Daddy Unlimited does not. Uh, Optics Planet, they're always, you got to look at that. It says, uh, check availability. When that's the case, it's usually not. There was a new egg, I believe, had them for about 56 bucks. Well, anyway, I can't wait to see uh, what this thing's like and probably go ahead and put that rifle together tonight. Uh, and uh, we'll do an overall video on the rifle and then we'll take it out to the range and we'll do some uh, reliability testing and uh, check some accuracy on it. That's it, guys, I hope you're enjoying the series. I'm looking forward to doing a couple more like this here in the near future. Hopefully it doesn't get me in trouble with the uh, YouTube police, which uh, seems to be the case lately, but you know what, I don't care. But also we're gonna add this little Magpul uh, trigger guard because I kind of dig those. They're really easy to install. Skoda Boy 32, if you like this video, if you like things like this, leave me in the comment section down below. If you have any experience with this guy right here, let me know. And uh, that'll be helpful to the other viewers on this thing. We always end it like this. God bless America. God bless his men, women in uniform, 24-7 for our freedom. Freedom's not free. And I'm talking about those guys that enforce our Constitution as it was written by our founding fathers. Isn't that right, Freedom Inc.? Let's go to boy 32. I am out. Y'all be good. Look at that.